Nothing's Yo, gonna happen. So anyone listening, don't even bother. <laughs> it's too late. Bro. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this, look. Yes, it's it's again to finish off my point. We can say yes. I know. I can make weird. a difference. Yeah. You can make a difference. Us, we can make a difference. Sure, sure, sure. But if we're not gonna do something on the grandest of scales, nothing's gonna happen. Here's why: because sure, I can try to like turn off the lights as much as possible, not use single use plastics as much as possible. Smoking, okay? I'm not talking about the carbon dioxide that you emit. No, 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 no. The butt, the sm- uh, cigarette butt, that's plastic. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't, mm-hmm. uh, you know, There's break so down. There's so many butts everywhere. Exactly. Did you know that it's the number one pollutant in the oceans? Really? Oh, cigarette it's butts. Pro- bro, it's probably the number one pollutant in the world. And you it go actually every outnumbers, lot. it actually outnumbers the next 11 items put together. Imagine you're at a funeral. All right, we're at a funeral. Um, welcome back to another episode, guys, of Culture Overload, where we're at funerals. We're actually recording in a funeral home right now, oh. but welcome back to another episode of Culture Overload. Hey, John, just throw the body in uh, this crematory, <coughs> right? Thanks. Oh, wait, bro, I thought we were crematory. Not by the snacks, John! <laughs> John, bro, come on, there's kids right there eating fucking snacks. Oh my god, this intro is wild. But, welcome back to another episode, guys, of Culture Overload, the realest podcast out there. We're real people, just come here, have real conversations. We just speak our minds on relevant topics, shit that's kind of scary right now, especially our topic today. You should be shitting your pants already, just knowing the topic. But, uh, yeah, so today's episode, oh, first of all, if you haven't already, uh, follow our Instagram at culture.overload. That's where you can keep updated. You know, if we, for some reason, can't get an episode out, like uh, last week or the last last episode. Yeah. yeah, we couldn't get it on Spotify. But, you know, follow the Instagram. Uh, stay tuned. That's where we keep you updated. That's where we're going to try to get everyone involved. But enough of that. Uh, let's get into today's topic. And uh, fuck, uh, I don't a heavy one. Man, I, every time I think about this, every time, like, just the thought of it just hits my mind. I get scared, depressed, anxious all at once. Greta Thunberg vibes, huh? Yeah. But that topic, guys, is climate change. So, first first question. First, uh, do you guys... Do you guys his, his notes ready for yeah. us. Oh, yeah. But do you guys think we could survive this shit? Well, just to let you guys know, climate change is a lie fabricated by the American government to hurt the Chinese okay. economy. First of so. all... We should, uh, actually, let's start that off by proving that climate change is real, uh, because, bro, we're in Canada, and the coldest day has been, like, yesterday, Literally. this whole winter. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, Fact. like, the one day, like, we had a snowstorm, and literally, the day after was, like, what, two degrees? It was melting already. Like, the yeah, day no, it snowed, was it was melting. That was crazy, Like, yeah. first of all, you can't deny climate change, man. Look around the world, shit's... I was gonna make like, a bad joke, but... What was it? No, no, no. You can't do that. You can't. can't. No, you well, can't. I was going to make I a can't. bad joke, but now I can't. No, I, can't. I, I, can't. I, can't. No, I give it. The viewers need it. No, no. no. All right, fine. I'll, fine. I'll, I'll, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll say it outside the podcast, but not. <laughs> okay, we'll okay. let it slide. We'll <laughs> let it slide. But, you know, you can't deny climate change, man. Like, it's going. You see it going all, all around the world. Like, wildfires. Yeah. The Brazil one, you know, it wasn't natural. You, there's politics behind it, which is. Uh, we'll get into later, maybe. more sad, honestly. What? One hundred percent. But like, uh, let's let's try to stay on the focus of yeah, like say, climate change and like natural yeah. change. Well, not but, really natural, but like. Barca just, <coughs> won, just a, uh, what? Barca just won their soccer game today. Barca? Yeah. No, I'm just playing because he said stay on topic. So. Oh, 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 oh. this guy's throwing <laughs> jokes at us today. Ah, yeah. oh, he's throwing a little. Spin balls. Okay. He's throwing a little uh, fork in the road, but so it is real. Like you can't deny it. it's going on. Places around the world, wildfires, uh, floods. Oh, another really interesting thing. While we were doing our research for this topic, I got onto this map where it recorded record high temperatures around the world mm-hmm. for this year. And, bro, like, and it's just like a timeline of, like, days, right? Yeah, yeah. And every day, bro, like, it just, like, fucking flashes all around the world. It's fucking insane. That's crazy. Have you guys heard about, like, any kind of uh, areas going down on under, like, underwater? Well, I heard Venice was flooded. And that's, the, I think that's the first place at risk. 
I have Isn't no it? idea about That's what Venice. I heard, I think. I know Jakarta is going down. Capital of Indonesia. Like, I think it's 95% fully? of their, like, you know, landmass, in the north at least, is actually prone to being sunk by 2050, I think. That's crazy. Yeah. And it's like a big, it's a mega city. Like, imagine Toronto yeah. being underwater yeah. or that's New York. Yeah. Like, th- that's the equivalent, essentially. It's crazy. There's probably more populated, though. Oh, yeah. So, they even, if I'm not mistaken, they actually moved their capital to really? a different city because of that happening. Yeah, that's crazy. There's actually, it's, there's been a lot of cities where they just moved their capital for some reasons, but. Yeah, but, like, I mean, just throwing it out there, it's like, yo, like, we don't insane. really realize it around here, but there's a lot of places, especially in the global Bro, south, that are, like, experiencing the uh, problems first. Think about it, though. Like, I think they said two degrees was, like, already bad, right? But, and, and, but think about two it. Degrees all degrees increased, the, right? Yeah, yeah two yeah. degrees increased. But think about it. All the places that are affected, coastal cities, Miami, New York, uh, uh, California, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, like, most, those are the most populated places. Most, like, imagine that. Imagine that going under. Like, the thing is, I mean, it's always like it's it's bound to happen. There's nothing you can do. But I mean, it's not that uh, well, scary. Well, no, to there is something. Like that no, that's the thing is, buddy. That's a scary thing. Is we can do something about it. Nope. It just, no, it's it just now, in my opinion. It, no, there it isn't. Too, so here we'll get into the stats. Okay, we'll talk about the stats. I got stats too, bro. Let's, but, let's no, fire. We'll, the, we'll talk about like the general. Mm-hmm. Like I know you're talking about seagulls and shit. Okay, I'm talking about specific uh, to climate change itself. Okay. So the, first of all. Global emissions are climbing. That's the scary part. Mm-hmm. Um, we can, we can stop it. We can stop if, it, but if, we can't reverse the damage. Damage has. Been oh, the done. damage. Of course, you can't reverse the damage. Yeah. But like, the the extent that it can go to, I'm telling yeah. you, people, it's it can get way worse, it, and it's bound to get way worse, way worse. Uh, disasters, cities under, and it's not. You might think, oh, oh, coastal cities are only affected. No, man. Natural disasters all around the world are on an increase. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, like here, Kitchener, right? We feel safe, right? We do. This is the only place. The only thing we have a risk of is tornadoes. Yeah, right? we, we've almost encountered a couple. Yeah, past couple and years, and so. and that is only going. The risk is only going to gr- think about it locally. If, if think every pla- any place you are, think about natural disaster, and think about the in- chances of that increasing. And that is why you should be scared. That is. Like think about we've never had that a tornado here. Yeah, we had one in Godrich. That, I think that's yeah, the closest a while one, ago. and that was horrific. Yeah. That that tore the place apart, right? It's, but imagine that. Not only are they increasing in uh, what's it called, in uh, occurrence, and their chances are increasing. They're also intensifying. So the damage done by them is, like this year, what the worst hurricanes, or was it this year? I, I know there's like the new worst recorded hurricane mm-hmm. recently and it's all because of this but basically the global emissions are climbing so the un says if we want to hold at 1.5 degrees celsius we need to more than cut our emissions in half more than in a half Good luck with in that. a decade Good luck with that. let me tell you something let me tell you something so the world kind of operates on a capitalistic system based mm-hmm. okay like the u.s doesn't care like putting it frank the U.S. doesn't care, Russia doesn't care, the U.K. doesn't care. As long as these people are getting money, they don't really necessarily care about the environment, right? With that being no said, shit. let's let's assume the West can do it because the West is able to, okay? We have the finances, we have the resources, we're able to actually go 100% green. Let's assume that, okay? What about countries like Iraq and Afghanistan and Here's Pakistan? The, uh, the, the thing is, though, the, the countries that contribute the most to pollution mm-hmm. are... The company uh, are the country. I was yeah, looking up at the stats. Top one is China. Second is the U.S. What is it? Uh, like the third? I forgot what the third one is. But is actually com- uh, countries that are capable no, of 100%, doing that. One hundred percent. Yes, that's why I'm saying. Like, let's assume <coughs> they can do it. They can move to one hundred percent green if they really, really wanted to. They can. But like, is it fair for them to do it and then uh, assume or like not assume, but like force others to do it but, as well? But, people who can't. But here's the thing. No, that's why. It, this is this is why we need to look at global warming as man and that's why it's kind of scary because people aren't going to see the damage until it's done because this is I feel like the the re, the only thing that's going to get humans to get together and finally stop fucking killing each other is one major catastrophe that's going to fuck us all up 
and make us realize that we're all the same and we're just gonna need to help each other. Sounds good. Doesn't work. Everyone's gonna be like, "Yo, this is my perfect opportunity to." You know, you know, know, some people, some people are. Yeah, like some. Like, <laughs> everyone is. Some, not not everyone. Trust some me. people are gonna try to make a civil world. Some people, it's just the it's just the way world the world works. But no, in reality, if like a big catastrophe happened and somehow the only way was, which is this global warming. The only way to stop this is getting all together. And 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 here's the thing. We're talking, okay, we're right here. We're, we're always saying, okay, it's not up to us. We can't do anything. It's all governments. This is the only thing that we can't control, honestly. Thing is, yes, you can control by your choices. And that's actually what we're going to talk to later on in the episode is your personal choices that can actually reduce your personal impacts on the environment. So we're going to talk about that. So, I don't know. The one thing... I was in your shoes, kind of. My opinions change. Who? My shoes? Yeah, I was in your shoes what, before. What's my shoes? Like, my, where my opinion my was... My or... <laughs> <laughs> fucking oversized ass feet. But I was in your shoes, like, with my opinion back in the day, where I was like, man, like, global warming, like, man, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do, right? It's all companies, it's all the governments, they're not gonna do shit. But I don't know, like... I feel like as the... F- I don't know what changed my opinion, but... Or actually, I saw the fact that you can actually make an impact on your, by yourself, right? You can't. You can. You can't. I, like... You can. Trust me, you can. You we can make at least person. a small... Bro, you can make at least a small difference. No, no, no. It's gotten... Okay, here's the thing. Yes, it sounds very cute and all to be like, one person can make a difference. 100%. No, you I, can't I make a difference by yourself. No shit. You can make a small difference... On your own actions, right? You reduce your own carbon footprint. But other people around you, if they do that too, that collective. That's what I'm saying. We need to fucking band together. This is why. But we're not. Yes, we are actually. People are. We're sitting here. Well, actually, you guys are not in this. If Mm -hmm. we're talking about it. Because there are people that are conscious and are. There are ways to reduce your carbon footprint. Let me tell you. There are things you can do. There are habits you can start enlisting in your life, introducing into your life, that will reduce your carbon footprint. And if you think about it, there are things in your life right now that you are probably doing that are wasteful. No, 100%. If you, 100%, buy, what, no. you guys, right now, you're, the main topic you research is plastic. Yeah. Do you have plastic water bottles at home? Exactly, yes. Do you have a plastic water bottles at home? Kirkland Vendor only, so don't wash that. Exactly. You guys aren't doing anything packs. about it. And that's the issue. Well, no one is. Are you? Yeah, you, I am. Sitting I sitting on Tim Hortons yeah. cup, You guys bro. bought that for me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it came with a plastic that's, straw. Rip turtles, bro. And actually, I've started... That's the one thing that I'm going to talk about. The things that you could start to do to reduce. So the first thing I did, as soon, the Team Trees, I donated to that, of course. So that's one thing that's awesome. You know why? I think that's uh, completely... like. Okay, that was a really, really good idea. Getting like thing. But I think there's other ways that we can shed light onto that. Uh, because Team Trees, it's, it's not like it's instant, bro. That, it's, that's, it's definitely not instant. No, but we but could have we could have done like in my opinion, there could have been other ways that <coughs> we could have done a bigger impact, a lot more drastically, I'm, a lot more quickly. N- no, mm-hmm. Team Trees was a really Here's good a idea Here's to get people thing, to get people to talk about the mm-hmm. conversation, right? But talking about trees to save the environment, it's not uh, it's not that easy. It's not that quick. I, it's not that okay. That's the thing. It's not that easy, but it's a start. It's oh, one person yeah. did something, right? Yeah, hundred percent. What if we start another project? Uh. Reduce all pl- like there's but, there's government uh, legislation that's going around to re- just like yeah, re- get fair. rid of plastic. 100%. There's companies that are taking it for. Here's the thing: you can't sit here and say you can't do anything. You and like one of the things. Okay, this is kind of like off topic, but I guess I'll throw it in. One of the things like like going through therapy, it's like worry about the things you can control. Mm-hmm. So you can't control government, yeah? Uh-huh. But you can control your own habits. Uh-huh. Like for me, like you said, what am I doing to reduce? I'm being conscious of my like where I what I spend. I don't buy shit that's going to I'm going to throw away right away. I see as I purchase stuff I wish 24/7. I'm using it though. Yeah, I know. I I'm know. Us- I'm keeping still, it. That, that's still but that's still that, going yes, towards that, yes. I was actually thinking about that before this episode. So I was like, damn, the because I was going to talk about, you know, like things that count as carbon footprint. It's like shipping the, the like transport all of that mm-hmm. and you know i was like oh shit i do buy a lot of things like yeah does like, that but does that it's hard it's hard yeah, not to it's in hard. this world it's very hard but here's uh, another thing though people i know a lot of people do this where they buy something just to try it and then they'll return it that is very bad like that's one thing like i think 
you've told me you've done that a couple times, right? What? Actually, I'm not gonna put you on the spot. Like, no, no, no. Where fuck, you like where you bought stuff off of Amazon, like and just re- oh, maybe, like maybe. tried it and returned it. Like we did that with our like podcast equipment. Because well, we I mean, we out. found a better deal. That was kind of a different story. Well, was, then what, what was I doing? That actually, never mind. Cut that out. No, because I, no, because I remember, I remember you told me like, oh, I'll get shot off of a uh, Amazon or whatever, and say it's like, no, not late. No, you would like you just say you try it or whatever. Oh, and if I, I don't like it, I'll return it. Yeah. I don't know if it was you or it, someone else. It may have been me. I don't know. I, I don't know. Someone told me they buy stuff off of Amazon or like online. Oh, I was, just to try it. No, I think I th- uh, my idea was we can go and buy those stuff and sell it a profit. Like we go to Amazon and ask to buy people what people oh, return. Oh, that's the the, like the, the pallet thing. Oh, okay. Then it was okay. probably someone different. But like that's the one thing. Like people, there are there's a lot of people. Like maybe we don't do it, but there's actually a lot of people that. Do order stuff like online and shit. Try like knowing, like so they'll buy like three it. sizes or something. They'll find what size fits them and they'll return the rest. Yeah, that has impact. That has environmental impact. Um, another thing, uh, I do is with plastic, disposable like plastic. Mm-hmm. So instead of you know when we go camping and stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. Instead of having to buy it every time I buy takeout or something, you rent it out. What? <laughs> Fuck off! No, uh, every time I get takeout and they give you like the plastic forks or whatever automatically, they put it in a bag. I'll take those instead of throwing them out. I'll collect them. I have a bag. Mm-hmm. I'll throw them in there. And if I ever need them, you know they paid for them. I already bought them. Yeah, I'm just saving it. Yeah, and actually it was fucking insane. I got a bag like this full of like, like that. Cutlery. Like yeah, like imagine all that going to landfill. But, but then after you use it, it goes into landfill anyway. Regardless, yeah. Yeah, that's if I use it. Oh, but, know, I'm hey, just saying go back to the olden days. Use your hand and <laughs> yo, honestly, that, too, I think that's the only way to like s- completely save it. Yeah. Look, go all, I all... appreciate I appreciate your positivity and your message of like, hey, we can do it, okay? Oh no, the, I... the reason why I'm saying it's never gonna happen is not because I don't want it to happen. It's not because I'm being a pessimist. Here's here. the, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I, I actually I'm I'm just as pessimist, bro. I'm, I know it's really hard to. I'm like having that little hope of me, and the reason that I'm kind of still talking on this podcast with a little bit of hope is mm-hmm. because I kind of want to inspire other people to take action rather than being in your shoes where nothing's Yo, going to happen. So anyone listening, don't even bother. <laughs> it's too late. Bro. The reason why I'm saying this, look, yes, it's, it's again, to finish off my point, we can say yes, I, know I can make late. a difference, yeah. you can make a difference, us, we can make a difference, sure, sure, sure. But if we're not going to do something on the grandest of scales, nothing's going to happen. Here's why. Because, sure, I can try to, like, turn off the lights as much as possible, not use single-use plastics as much as possible. Smoking, okay? I'm not talking about the carbon dioxide that you emit. No, 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 no. The butt, the sm- uh, cigarette butt, that's plastic. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't mm-hmm. uh, you know, There's break so down. There's so many butts everywhere. Exactly. Did you know that it's the number one pollutant in the oceans? Really? Oh, cigarette it's butts. Pro- bro, it's probably the number one pollutant in the world. And you it go actually every parking outnumbers. Lot. It actually outnumbers the next eleven items put together. Damn. No way. You take that in, yeah. and then you assume okay, all these little fish and critters. Not even fish and birds, bro. I'm talking about the little bro, microscopic organisms. Cause, th- Cause think about it, cause, bro, a pack of, like a smoker will probably go through a pack a day or something, and that is like twenty five, twenty five of those little butts for one person that smokes. And then think about. 500 people that smoke. And what do they do? And they just throw them out. Like, here, them here's the exactly. thing. And that's what I'm, that's why I'm saying if those people can, if, if those numbers can do those damage, we can also do that repair. We, we can. can also, without no, in, without incentive here's or anything, thing. we can't. Here's because the thing. we're not seeing, because we directly aren't seeing the impact. Yeah. Okay. It's getting colder. Yeah. Whatever. But it's not like, oh, someone's throwing a cigarette, but we go and eat it. You know how it's like the fish were like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going up the turtles' noses or anything. We're not directly facing the, the consequences of our actions. We are indirectly, yeah. Oh, the, the, the climate's getting colder. The climate's and, getting hotter. And that's why we're doing this podcast right yeah. now. To wake people up about global warming. I don't, and, think, I don't think it's... And I, I, and I feel like it's wrong to have... Like, okay, I, the stats, yes. Okay, I have it right here. Scary fucking stat. Note right beside it. If current countries follow up on pledges... To reduce global warming, it will only level off in 2030. That means our global warming will just, our, our carbon output will just, like, be what it is right now. 100%. Which is its, at its all-time high, by the way. And they're not going to do anything. If if those are the countries that, that made pledges, if they follow up on pledges, 
the temperature will rise by 3.2 degrees in the next decade. That is, think about it, that is in our lifetime. So we, you know what? Even if we can't do something on our scale, we should be fucking out there demanding governments to do something, shouldn't we? Because this is, so, bro, this is something that's going to affect our lifetime. Yeah, 100%. And, and we need to think about it as something that is now. It, because we need to act now. It's, it's not a thing that we can wait. Oh, shit, global warming's here. Let's fucking shut down our coal factories. No, we need to act now. And we need to demand action now. Like, we can't let fucking a president of one of the most super, like, the superpowers on this planet fucking not even admit that climate change is a thing. That can't be a, th- like, oh, uh, man. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, 100%, yeah. Uh, it's just, because, man, the th- thing is, the thing is, it is scary. Because I know we're fucked. Yeah, we if are. we don't demand our governments to do anything, and I feel like people are sheep, no one's going to do shit. They're going to... Just enjoy the life as it is and wait for fucking hell to break loose. I mean, fair enough. I mean, that's, uh, but, what, that's what I do uh, too, but I mean... But, like, the thing that's is... That's what we've been saying. I know, what? that's the thing that you've like, been this saying. Is, like, but, this, this world is but, going to shit, bro. That's, that's the whole part of this podcast. Bro, but... Man, why... I'm just noticing this mentality with you guys, with people all around the world. They, like... Okay, they, mo- okay hold on. Just hold on. because... Putting you people in this, first of all, Moaz... What have you no, personally no, like, done? No, no, if I would, if I, if I no, would no, no, I mean, that, I mean, no, 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 no. before you put I mean, people, the bus like that, people, people that are, that are okay, they're just completely hopeless. That means I'm not gonna do anything. Well, okay, okay, We're that's the problem. That. That's the problem. Hold that on, is hold the on, issue. Hold on, hold on. You're the one who's like, okay, uh, what's it called? No, I'm not. I'm not putting myself on a pedal stool. No, or no, anything. no. Okay, no, but if, but if you were the person who's like, all right, I'm gonna sell my car. I'm gonna get a bike. You know, I'm, a, I'm a. I'm not gonna eat meat. Meat is no, was, eating meat as well is also a very big contribution to the global yeah, thing. Yeah, big, big. And how many times a day do you eat meat, bro? Every almost every day, every meal almost has meat in it somewhat. You know, some sort of dairy product, some big, sort of thing. This all contributes into this. Moz, we can't be the ones that say it. you can't. Like, I, bro, I'm not saying. Here's the thing. What, it's hard. What I'm, you, what I'm, what I'm against because I, 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 I get. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I see both of your views right now mm-hmm. as if. Uh, we're fucked, so we might as well just not do anything. We no, might no. as well just go we're, as no. our life. We're fucked, but, but it, what, talking what about can it, we do? talking about it no. over a podcast, I don't think is... I know, We can start a discussion thing. over the... Here, we talk, yeah, we could start a discussion over the podcast, but here's the thing. We shouldn't be... Okay, we're fucked. Let's talk about solutions. Why are people always... Like, that's what I'm noticing with people. They always look at problems and they're like, oh, whatever, I'm just gonna let it solve itself. Why don't you think of solutions? Why don't you try to we don't help? Have, we don't have... Like we don't and have I know you don't have power. I know no, we, we don't, don't have, have I, bro. I have ideas all in my head, but yeah, I don't have money to exactly, do anything exactly. about it. Exactly. But what I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. No, we need, uh, to, bro, we need to demand action. Is what I what the point is. Demand action, but you gotta have you gotta have a, not a message, but you have to have a like a you know how there's a oh, like a a, a, five, a five step program well, for becoming this right. We need to have. A program set in place where it's like, okay, yeah, we can make change right well, now. Here's right the... now, what do we have? All right, guys, let's not drink out of uh, cups anymore. Hooray! Let's, uh, okay. Yeah, let's not this is, change. Okay, shit. let's talk about right now. Let's talk about these big, big, big issues. What do you think needs to change? Let's let's talk about what do you think needs to change? What do you, do you need to demand? To if happen? you want, if you want, let's, let's talk about that. Let's, let's go. This is what I was thinking. Okay. You, <coughs> after Abdul, after Abdul, I want to talk. Okay. We have <laughs> companies like Tesla right now. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why don't? Why doesn't the government? Like Canadian government team up with people like Tesla, Tesla, bro. That's what I've been thinking. No, no, listen. Team up with partners like Tesla, and not only give them a car, maybe or an electric motorcycle, electric bike for free, and maybe not even on top of that, maybe get paid a little bit to use those and get rid of your car. I, you know, we 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 in fact then use less gas. We we emit less carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, whatever our cars emit. You know, we don't have to waste metals and all that on cars and all that yo uh, speaking of that uh, fun fact when I was at a dealership today this guy told us there's a lot up in air Ontario literally all brand new cars just sitting there unsold new cars yeah that's like I was just thinking that that's a way and I like as soon as I heard that I was like bro what what can you do to solve that issue and I was thinking well I mean not make them or the government possesses them they can either Actually, if you give them out, that'll just cause more pollution. Literally, Fuck that shit. Yeah. But 
Like that's what I was thinking. What, what I'm thinking, I transportation. Yes, we need we need a better big, transportation. What that's I'm what, thinking, that's I was thinking your idea, but I personally don't think the future is gonna need us to have a car. Like in our countries, if you think about it, actually, you guys didn't grow up there. But no, I've been there. Like I know. Yeah, yeah. like everyone's but, walking. Everyone's bro, taking the bus. You can easily get around because here's our the infrastructure issue. isn't set up like that though. We need to have a better the, infrastructure the, no, that no, no, allows a, bro. public transportation to be first no, of all easily accessible you know, no, no, and affordable. Bro, here that's not true. No, think about it though. When I what kind of blows my mind is that our countries actually didn't have infrastructure and they still no, were but good. They did they didn't like the buses weren't public weren't like private like the buses we took. Weren't privately run or weren't government run. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about the transportation itself. I'm saying, okay, you listen. You walk maybe ten minutes down the road, and mm-hmm. you you can walk for hours, and you have markets on either side. Mm-hmm. You know, you have your food stands, you have your your shops, you have your thing. Here, you walk ten minutes, you're still actually, nowhere. Actually, you're absolutely nowhere. That's you're at a dollar store or a gas station. I don't you know, know if you actually noticed. Uh, right now in downtown, do you know how the, all these big buildings oh, okay. are going? No, no, just think about it. Uh, let me just continue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the big shift in uh, the architecture field, they used to build buildings where, oh, this is an office building, this is a residential building, this is a commercial building. Uh, now the shift is uh, for mixed use, mainly mixed use, and that actually makes it in the cores easier. Like it'll be like uh, residential on top, and then it'll be like supermarkets on the first floor. Or okay, something. how how nice is that idea to have? We're well, already doing to, that no, here. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. But when you go downtown, it's bad, It's bro. not that bad, bro. bro you can you walk. Literally, every other person is, like, on the road, and it's, like, it's just, like, I don't want to go down there. I don't want, like, yeah, it's it's a nice idea. Yeah, we can get that. But do I want to? Think about it, though. Uh, up t- think about the difference between downtown and uptown. There's actually, like, you notice that? What like, downtown, like, in this city, we're talking about, uh, cult, for those that don't know, locally, we're talking about Kitchener-Waterloo. Do you notice that when you go Waterloo, like, uptown-Waterloo, there's less crackheads? Like, it's more... High no. class. No, because they cracked down on the homeless population there in Waterloo. Oh, what? They just, really? Yeah, bro. Like, that's why you don't see anyone there. Really? In Kitchener, you have so many services open to them and everything. Like, it's, it's different oh, for shit. that reason. Oh. I mean, that's what I've heard, but I believe it because, like, yeah. I don't see any services Literally. in the Waterloo region for, or, like, sorry, uh, the city of Waterloo for homeless people. However, I do see many, many in Kitchener. In Kitchener yeah, like, the shelters yeah, no. and then the soups. But, but another thing that you notice is Kitchener is more de- like uh, it's less classier. If you like, I w- I would say you notice. Yeah, when you say Kitchener, it's like I right, it's like kind of like the ghetto. Like it's kind of the yeah. lower like hmm. the lower. Besides thing. besides Huron area and like Dune, like the center of Kitchener, like compared to Waterloo, it feels like Waterloo's more like rich. And then again, you know, there's still like there's still the poor side of Waterloo. There's still the rich side of Waterloo. There's the rich side yeah. of Kitchener. There's the rich side. But I mean, just like stereotypically, or like I don't know. Yeah. How do you want to say it? But. I would just like to add that um, one thing that we definitely need to address is that you can't have the pie and eat the pie at the same time. What do you mean? So what? this is what I mean. We can't talk about being environmentally <coughs> friendly and everything and then not want to make any kind of sacrifices That's towards true. it. That's true. We yeah. have to change our entire way of life. Literally. Entire way of life meaning this. Currently, in order to have every single person in the world, how what's the world population like right eight, now? Like almost seven eight billion. Almost eight, eight billion. billion. Seven to eight we're, billion. We're climbing there, yeah. In order to have every single person on this planet at this very moment to live just like you and I, us three here. We need a lot of resources. How like, many? How many Earths do you need? It's like thirteen or something. Like, I think it's actually four. Four. So okay. Less, no, but but you still else. can't. Yeah, you yeah. still can't have four Earths. Yeah. We only have the with one. Money are living like way. Um, no, 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 no. Me and you. I'm yeah, talking about that's the what I'm average folk yeah. here. So, like, with that being said, we can't be hypocrites here being all like, yeah, we need to change the world. And then us living in this country, we're using yeah. four times here's the amount a, of resources as the, the average that's, other. That's why our the our demand to change should be the government because our infrastructure is what feeds this lifestyle. Fair. Our, it, our electricity production. But actually, we're actually, like, I did research. Mm-hmm. Ontario, we're actually really good. No. Most of, no, most of ours is nuclear. Most of ours is nuclear and hydro. No, 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 I'm not talking about energy. I'm talking about like everything, yeah, like the plastics, the things that we import. Like oh yeah, clothes, like your whole carbon footprint. Like yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It takes about four Earths for the average person and, in the West to live. Here's why. That's why we're doing this podcast, and that's why I have a, a part specified for uh, things you can do to reduce your own footprint. And that's where we need to start. That's a start. 
and then we need to demand change is the second next thing and let's let's go back let's go back to that when we were talking about transport uh i personally you were talking about electric cars yeah i personally think that cities should have the infrastructure first of all like we we like we grow out right we we're like spread like the cities yeah, yeah. is spread out like yeah. it's really hard to get to like the places. city is but not the yeah. not the province like even Ontario, you need to like, get a like yeah but no but every city yeah yeah like you need to you need a car to get around the city exactly. to get so what we need to do is we need to like think design smart which is being done like mm-hmm. there's changes in the architecture field yeah um like there's changes in that and, and, and the, the architects ion, like are the acting ion, like even the ion it's like going in the right That's direction a, but i mean it's oh, still not up to par. Oh, think about it. Uh, if you, oh, trust me, it's gonna it's gonna get way better. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because it's, it's in the right it's in the right direction. The, do you know the corner of King Street and Victoria? Yeah. Right there, they're gonna have the transport hub. I'm assuming because it's right by the train station. I'm assuming, and they also shut down the old bus terminal. They did, yeah. I'm assuming that's gonna be the bus terminal. There's gonna be the train terminal, which connects to Toronto. And that that's one big step for our city, man. Our st- our city, I'm proud of it, cause uh, like Mom, our city's it took acting. Us almost six years to do from Kitchener to Kitchener. How long do you think it's gonna take for, to what get you to Toronto, bro? Building the Ion. Oh no no no, so it's not uh, no not Ion. Oh. The train. So I'm talking about a transport. The train already goes no, to Toronto. No, tra- yeah, I know. So a trans. What, what do you know? What a trans like a transport hub is where all different types of transport connects. So You're it makes it more efficient. So you can take a bus get to the bus station you can then hop on any other bus at the station or you can take the train to toronto or the lrt is right there you can take the lrt oh. so it makes it more efficient it makes it easier one for stop people sh- one stop shop for exactly I so i feel like that is the future that we need to like the one thing i want to talk to city officials i honestly want to go to city officials and tell them this is the problem you need to solve time time because the only reason i wouldn't give up, i thought about it i was like I feel guilty driving. Like, yeah. And like every day I'm driving, I'm like, fuck, I want to give up this car. But I can't because there is no transfer. I waste an hour, two hours a day just to get to one place. Bro, I was almost this close to getting an emo recycle. <laughs> no, no, honestly, a couple grand, right? But the rules around it is so stupid. You can't go more than 30 kilometers per hour. You know, you, you I don't know. There's some other stupid rules. Yeah. But if it was easier to be able to use those, yeah. you can get... Like you can save so much more money mm-hmm. because what you're paying fifty dollars a gas a, a tank for gas every mo- every week for me, mm-hmm. um, you know, you know how much that's affecting Legi- the thing. That's another thing that I was gonna talk we about. We need to make it easy. Yeah, we need to make it easier to, for transportation. Not just transportation. We need to make everything easier to help the environment, bro. Ca- something simple as cars. Every every household has one car minimum. Like, yeah, majority, obviously. right? Yeah. What if we took that down? A car is like mm-hmm. worth what? Minimum is like five k. Mm-hmm. We give them each a motorcycle. Yeah, okay, there have to be motorcycle, obviously, right? But just like, think about it. Like there that. are incentives though. The government is going in the right direction with incentives, but they need to be better. Not right now they in need Ontario. To be they backtracked on a lot with the current government. The, the, oh yeah. well, Doug, Ford, no shit, Doug Ford, Ford, fuck, yeah. fuck. Yeah. So like Fucking we have to like I, I completely See, agree with the incentives. That's, no, that's why I'm saying we need to demand action. We can't let a Doug Ford. You can't government. demand action from certain governments. Trust me, because certain governments and certain parties have its particular way of working around things do you don't get what, me wrong do you don't know get what me depresses wrong. me mm. is i know change is not going to be done the way government works right now nothing yeah. is going to like you might have a good government this term the next term everything is gone everything that government has done is gone okay. Can that I... is yeah go on so what happened just a couple weeks for the past couple weeks i don't know if you know the strikes the school strikes mm-hmm. well they're back at school now like that doesn't do shit in my opinion that doesn't uni- do shit yeah i know because unions man that's another thing i was gonna say like, unions w- are bullshit too. you're in the you're going the right direction but you're just you're like okay it's not we don't have I'm the s- power i'm like yeah we're, we're, we're thinking of the right idea hey listen mm-hmm. let's 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 do something that will was, mess it up right? i was thinking uh, but okay. doing it for two days and then stopping and going back to school what does that do because I got, no because on. unions because here I, that's what i don't you know? disagree with unions because they're so organized unions they have to agree on a strike okay we're gonna strike this day you guys know we're off like it's too civilized yeah no like, like unions like I, I personally don't think they like they should work more better i guess but 
There's a lot more effective ways. Let's yeah. just say. But here's here's what I'm realizing. I was actually like comparing two countries, right? I was comparing why was I happier living in like a shittier co- we had electric remember our last episode government uh happiness or whatever that was, that was a few episodes ago yeah a few episodes it wasn't yeah it was definitely not last episode but, uh, episode but you know how we were telling oh like government cut down uh electricity like what would happen over here we're fucked oh yeah but that's what i'm realizing is we've built a reliance on the government here in our country we used to have electricity shutoffs almost like we don't, every we night. don't trust the government with <laughs> anything yeah like we don't rely on them exactly. No, you no you, you here we rely no, no, on there, everything. There, yeah. yeah, over there. Over there, do you have banks? No, no over no, no. No. here no. everyone puts their money in yeah. the bank. Back no, there, just like oh, I put my money in the bank. Ah, khalas, that's it. Your oh, money's gone. Over, thing I was over there, about. I was also like, bro, we had electricity shutoffs, but the thing is, you can still live your day normally. Yeah. Light off a couple candles, the stove still works. Over yeah. here, your your electricity though, I can't cook. My fridge is out. Like, bro, electricity goes your back food's to gonna go back. Yo, how much food do you have <coughs> in your fridge or freezer right oh, now? Yeah. If the electricity goes out, you're yeah, done. You're All your food's gonna be Only spoiled. Only the cans, bro. Only the cans. Non perishable goods. Yeah. No, but I was thinking, uh, what was I gonna say? What were we talking about? We were talking about many things, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, one thing that we could help, uh, uh, I don't know how much of an impact actual money and change has on the environment. Mm. A lot. But I was thinking, oh, cut down the money? Let's make it all virtual. Honestly, it's What's going in that direction. What's the benefit it's, it's of already, having it physical at no, this it's point? Bitcoin, bro. Bitcoin. I, I, man, I personally, like, I, it, it's, it's going in that direction. Yeah. Like so you're already, you're already getting that. We, we got, we got rid of the penny. I think they're thinking about no, getting the, rid of the, 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 the nickel. Like, definitely in the next decade, I feel like cash will be gone. Yeah, because I don't but, see. But, but, I don't know what if I'm a fan of that personally. That's Why? the problem, because le- like we're valuing nothing essentially. What do you mean? No, I, I personally don't. Wait, wait. Are you? S- wait, go on. Essentially, I, we're gonna have a point system, right? Oh, you yeah, do yeah, work. Yeah. I'm gonna give you X amount yeah, of points. Yeah, like credits. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And no, but I you don't still know. have money. Like it's still money, but you just I feel like it's that's all virtual. A, I feel like it's a psychology trick. I feel like it's a perspective thing. What? You, like, because because technically, you are. It's still. The, it's you're technically. Still, you're getting 16 points an hour. Yeah, for you're, you're still doing, getting. You know I mean? You're still getting that money is still technically that number you're talking about. It just depends on the perspective, right? I know, but it's like you're. It's valueless. Like for example, yeah. the whole way, if I'm not mistaken, the only pro- um the way the way money like actual physical currency came about is you used to like you for example gold. we used to use gold. Yeah. But then what happened? I think it was in the U S. What happened was instead of having gold, you would be like borrowing or lending gold. So you'd mm-hmm. get a piece of paper saying. Uh, how much oh. gold you you and were that owed, turned into the money. and that turned into money. So like slowly, slowly, you were kind of I guess transitioned and yeah. pro- prodded but, into like accepting that as as currency. Like if you really think about it, if tomorrow the the government says, you know what, Canadian dollars don't matter for anything, we're gonna use the Canadian dinars, for example. Yeah. They do that, for example, and we're not gonna like you know substitute your cash <coughs> for like the current one either. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with all that money? It has no value, mm-hmm. right? Gold, silver, even the metals like we have right now, like nickels and quarters, they have some type of value because of their, th- their commodity. Material. Exactly. Commodity, yeah. But the plastic bills or even paper bills, yeah. they have no value. The only the only reason I, I'm against the virtual stuff is because it's so much easier budgeting with cash and like oh, taking 100%. care of cash. So like but, when mean, it's all virtual, it's like but then again, it's no, so much easier. We're the ones to that spend. are trying to what's it called? But uh, that's like that's one. Th- so, yeah, like there's little things that we could probably do that. Well, I don't think it'll have that big of an effect on I don't, the yeah, environment. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know how it would affect. Another it. thing. So I've noticed the city making changes in the right direction. You know, you've noticed the bike lanes they've added. They've actually added them very strategically. If that's you've noticed, horrible, bro. They've have you a- seen them? They've added. I know. Fucking hate them. I hate them, but I hate yeah, them as driving. Thing. But I'm happy because I see there's action. The the o- that's the only is, reason. The thing and is, they're smart. I don't know if you've noticed. They're smart as hell. The one bike lane, they all somehow connect to downtown. If you notice the Queen Street one. Yeah. Goes all the way from the one end of the city. So that that's technically the end of Kitchener. That's who the this hell side. is gonna bike from one end of the thing? That's that's why I'm saying let's get electric, that, that, make no, it easier. That's, this is where I was gonna flip it. I I'm happy that they're moving in the right direction, but I kind of want to talk to officials and be like, come on, guys, we're in Canada, we're in winter for like <laughs> exactly <laughs> the, the the temperature. You can't bike six months like you gotta have balls to bike in this weather and the funny so, thing is they finished construction just as bro, winter hits think, so about like, think about it though if they use those bike lanes this is like a simple idea that I kinda want I honestly kinda wanna give them give people if snowmobiles they, no if they use those bike lanes imagine those little 
taxis they have in India or whatever. The tuk-tuks. Yeah. Tuk-tuk. Imagine like a like small, maybe like a two truck. It's two trail that runs back and forth. Imagine how helpful that in the winter. They'll use those bike lanes or for like, that. Or like electric sludge or something. That'd yeah. Be sick. There's so many yeah, things. Yeah. The snow. <laughs> Fucking dog sleds, yo. <laughs> Running down King Street with the dog sleds. Yeah, literally. I'm telling you guys, we need to reinvest in, you know. Transportation. N- transportation. I'm talking yeah. camels. I'm talking horses. <laughs> rent, mules. Rent, house, rent, rent a horse. donkey, bro. Like, I'll give you 50 pesos for this, like, bro, or 50 dinars or whatever. Bro, imagine uh, there were so many horses that the farting of the horses yeah. caused more CO2 than no, cars. But that's what happens with cows right now. Yeah. Methane. Like methane. You know, what they shit out is <coughs> pretty bad for the environment. That's also one thing that we can start doing. Like, I saw this one thing that Mark Rober put out recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, how we're going into an era where we're trying to eat less meat, mm-hmm. where we should be eating less meat, obviously, mm-hmm. because of the, like, the thing it's doing to the climate, like, it's mm. just so much waste, and it's not really that beneficial the thing. for you. Here's the thing. I honestly feel like our lifestyles would not be that bad if it wasn't for capitalism. Like, like all this food, you know, like, all this, like, like I just had an idea the other day. I was like, all this food they throw out, they basically, sometimes they just look at food, oh, it doesn't look good enough to sell. Bro. And they'll throw it out. At my workplace, at the garbage, bro, I see food. That is perfectly fine, mm-hmm. but it goes into the garbage. Exactly. For what reason? I have no clue. Hey. Bro, piles and piles of food and garbage. That's just in my location. Imagine what they're doing in the other ones. Mm-hmm. And it's just going to the garbage. It's not like they're donating it to a homeless yeah. shelter. It's not yeah. like they're doing yeah. anything. This is what I'm Why thinking. not? See, like, what's wrong with people see, like this? That's what I'm thinking. That's because capitalism. It, because if you give it out for free, they're going to claim, oh, now I have to give everyone for free. Or it dro- drops down the value. I'm guessing that's what it is. But that is wrong. I feel like at least, okay, th- you know what? My solution for that, okay, don't give it to people here. You know what? Send it. Yeah, send ship s- it. Put it in shipping containers. Government, collect it. Ship it to Africa, man. Look, we did that dying. Once. We did that once with Turkish Airlines, and that's it. Done. What the hell is that? Yeah. Like, no. And I mean, people like us, we can't really do it, but like the governments, like, yeah. so, like bro, this is what that's I keep what going depresses back to. me, man. That is literally why I'm so depressed sometimes, because I have all these ideas, and no one's acting. Like, what is, there's no one to do anything about power, it. Power halls like Saudi Arabia, America... Bro, yeah. we, they they have huge huge homeless populations, mm-hmm. you know, and they're the ones who are contributing to, uh, paying millions and millions of dollars for for, for soccer players. Mm-hmm. Neymar went for almost mm-hmm. two hundred million dollars for what? Bro, <laughs> corruption. For what? You could have spent that money. Two hundred million dollars, bro. Put a put a meal in someone's stomach for months. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, it's, I but forget who too, did the math. I think it was like. The amount of money countries spent on their national defense, had you yeah. piled all that money together, you could have, uh, you know, gotten rid of poverty. Not just poverty. You could have gotten rid of poverty around the entire world a total of 81 times. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, bro, remember we were talking about America, how they're spending? Bro, they're, more than half of their budget goes to their military. And they have all these problems going on. Mm-hmm. Why don't you maybe not fuck up the rest of the world and worry about yourself? I don't know. You can't. Uh, honestly, how, how, how I was having this thought that I got so angry just thinking about this shit going on in the world and like not being able to do anything that I thought about this idea. Uh oh. Disclaimer, w- disclaimer. I am not involved in whatever this man is about to say. <laughs> we, should, no, we should have a pre recorded disclaimer on Moss. I was, I was actually thinking. Like, <laughs> I was, yeah. I, I, was, I had here. a thought. Uh, Completely here. separate. Moaz is Bro, his own entire entity. I was thinking. Okay, we need peacekeepers. And then I was like, okay, we have UN. But then I was like, that's they're so hypocritical. UN is... N- Bull, like, they can lick my fucking ass, bro. <laughs> bro, UN has no power whatsoever, bro. They're in the pa- right? they're in the pockets of freaking governments. Yeah, because when Israel and shit was going on, guess what? Uh, US has a veto card. I don't know if you guys remember. I was really young. I don't know why I was really into this shit. I was always into politics. But I was really young looking into the Gaza and Israel conflict. And the UN at one point was like, fuck, we need to like intervene or some shit. And they held a vote. And, uh, you know, the most powerful countries, like, how does that make sense? The most powerful countries have a veto card. Do you know what a veto card is? Yeah, it's like, you can Basically, just do whatever the yeah. fuck you want. Yeah. Your vote counts above everything. What kind of UN is that? So, this is my idea, guys. All right? Uh-oh. All right, this is where I'm going to go on terrorist watch. 
<laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another wonderful episode of Culture Overload. Bro, but I was thinking, I think like the only way to do it is to start a secret, such a secretive military that doesn't like just fights everybody, bro. It's gonna go in the Middle East. It's gonna fuck up ISIS. It's gonna fuck you up. If you're killing people, me? What did I do? No, not you. But <laughs> if you're killing people or doing something unjust, you're fucked. But don't you and think someone else has come no, up with that idea? No, no, yeah, I mean, no, no, that's what the U.S. No, thinks but, they're doing. No, but here's, 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 the, here's where I, I, like, I was like, all right, I have this idea, but I have to, like, like, I have to be really smart, really secretive, and this military force has to be powerful as fuck. So secret if you mentioned it on the podcast. I know, I know. No one's going to pull this up in the future. I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it, guys, all right? And then, so, what I'll do is when I'm a billionaire... My front will be. I'll start a military, co- like a arms company. We'll make weapons. That's but, never gonna work. But, but, it will work. No. Sell them to the U.S. And then, here's the catch. Self destruct. I'll have no, no, no. I'll have them all engineered to a point where I can override them, and then just fucking use them to my <laughs> to okay, my power. One point: the U.S. doesn't actually buy weapons from anyone. It makes its own. It can't trust anyone. Uh, one one thing yeah, is they uh, do. no, they don't. They bought from Bombardier. Okay, but that's like, a Canadian company. But a part that's of, for jets. Okay, okay, but like when they do that, they have they make sure that they have their people in on it as well. They don't trust anyone. They sell a lot of their own equipment to other people, so there's no reason for them to actually I buy from pu- anyone. I guess they would pull they this off. They sell to the Taliban and stuff, and they then they sell to okay. the Taliban. Cool. They sold to ISIS. They sold <laughs> to Al Qaeda. Like, oh, we gotta go fight them now. You know what I'll from do? The gun, from the guns I'll... that you guys gave. Yo, them. thing is, the the this force has Wait, to be so. Cut that out? Su- yeah, like the Taliban part. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. Just like, I, I don't know. I feel like they have the FBI has like secret words where if you put them in all in combination. They automatically flag it. Boom. To be fair, Apple probably already works with them, so they're probably <laughs> already tuning in live. Literally, literally. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, you. I, I remember uh, what was it? I think it was in high school where, um, one of like a police officer came in or someone came in and he's like, "Yeah, like y- your network providers monitor certain mm-hmm. murders, like like gun or suicide or kill." Actually, and then yeah, so it gets flagged. Like I obviously. I don't know if it's 100% true, but I'm sure there's something in place. They do it on YouTube now for monetizing. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Honestly, in my opinion, like... That's that's another topic. We really need to talk about, like, surveillance and security and all that. But it's it's too far <coughs> gone. Like, I mean... And then, again, like, what do we have to lose? Like, I mean, they're going... Damn, we went off topic. <laughs> yeah, I mean... They're selling your data, but who the hell cares? What, what data are you getting from me? You know? No, uh, it, 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 what I was going to mention on that part, I don't know if I should mention it now. I'm probably going to mention it again. Sure. Is with that data, they can control you. How? Because, th- bro, th- tell me right now, your phone probably knows you better than your parents, better than anyone in your life. Oh, 100%. Exactly. Because uh, th- this, this is my companion, think, bro. I think, about, think, about, think about something you want to keep secret. Yeah. Like, well, like just say, like, like something you really want to keep secret yeah. for some reason and someone the government or something got a hold of it this is what i was going to give you this exact scenario someone got a hold of it and told you you need to like do shit on or they're going to expose it or whatever yeah. but because with information you can get controlled once you once you know you also not subconsciously it's already happening it's happening I yeah guess it's, like like, it's like, uh, like they were, i don't know if you heard about facebook I think they they did what a. What is that? Facebook. No, <laughs> what's Facebook? No, I heard. I, I don't know if you heard about this news story about Facebook. Oh, okay. Apparently, uh. Oh, okay. Apparently, they did a study without, and that's the one thing I think they went to the, the hearing for. Okay. Uh, apparently, they did a study without anyone knowing, where they would show them like negative stuff on purpose, and see how they react with it. Really. And it like yeah, and they noticed like if you give them someone something real negative or some shit, they're gonna interact with. It. And I was I, bro, I fell for it. I fell for it so hard because I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I, I like noticed it. I saw like a, a post about Doug Ford or something and I fucking just went in the went off in the comments and like three posts or something just cheesed me and I had to like I don't know why I had the need to comment on it and then I like I look back and I'm like holy fuck like they someone literally just tricked that like made me do that technically like just by seeing the data because like they saw that I probably, like, like, think about it. They probably, like, noticed how long you, like, 
stay on a certain post. Oh, like man. how long you scroll, can More. you like it, like I, everything. I was on Facebook on my laptop for homes, right, for looking for apartments and stuff. And it, I got an ad on Instagram for real estate. Tell me how not to, like I've never gotten an ad for real estate. Yeah, that's fucked. Bro, I don't under like. Bro, we're you know the thing I was watching you, I uh, I was showing you like the uh. Uh, the one prayer bead whatever yeah, thing on yeah. okay, so I now it's all over your thing. Yeah, yeah, I literally opened YouTube like after prayer beads showing everywhere. you. Yeah, the the same thing. Yeah, literally the same item. A little bit more expensive, but the same item. Yeah, pops up. Yeah, why? Yeah, How? sometimes it, it won't even have a word or anything. You look at a picture, or bro, it, it, here's the scariest part. You know, like when you say something and you get an ad. Yeah. Sometimes no. I think of something, and I get an ad. I swear to God, I'm like, bro. Did you? But I don't know who it was, but but apparently, a Google Home knew. Oh, that oh, yeah, I told you the story. Pregnant. I told you the story. The did Alexa. You? It was the Alexa. Yeah, before. And it sent her a birth uh, uh gift. Yeah, yeah. before her. Before she even knew she was pregnant. Because it, it picked up on. Were you here for that podcast? No. I don't think that was you. I thought that was. No, I no, I told no, I told you. Oh, I, it was. It maybe knew. I don't know. I, I definitely told you. Take that in. A, an Alexa knew that this woman was pregnant before she even yeah, did because it, of it picked up on her. Yeah, it picked up on her behavior, her change in behavior, and like how she was acting Imagine and all that. that. You know, no wonder that's why Amazon I'm, has a like a half a trillion dollar with yeah, the CIA. Literally, Jeez. Imagine, that's fucked. How? Like, I'm pretty sure, <coughs> like that. Like in my opinion, bro, that is the most messed up thing in the world. I this is why. This is why I. Whenever I talk about the future, wow, like what what I want my house to be like, okay, it's all somewhere in the fucking boons. That, <laughs> but I also want to be able to build it with my own hands, yeah. just to make sure that there's no cameras, <laughs> yeah. there's no like you know spy worry, gadgets. I'll be your architect. I got you. Uh, I can't trust <laughs> you either, bro. Like I gotta make <laughs> sure. Put, put some <laughs> military equipment in your house. Yeah, tap the walls. <laughs> Like literally some it's gonna be so basic, but I'll feel at ease because I'll know that there's nothing watching me. You know, yeah. I'll make sure that I'll have like you know the tin foil all over my house. Bro, that's <laughs> that's the that's why I've, I've like I already like you already have your phone listening to you. Why would you want your Alexa sitting in your house? Like yeah. back then, in the, like the 1900s, there's like this meme going around. People are like, oh my god, I better not say that on the phone. You know, the government's watching or like listening to yeah. me. Now and it's now real. it's just like, hey, wiretap. Can you? Oh, like, the FBI meme too. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, oh, we went. We were talking about. Climate change. Now we're talking about I mean, privacy because we've talked about the government, right? Yeah. We, we always about, talk about government Fuck because the government, government. The government revolves around everything. Everything revolves around government. Government can do stuff. They don't do stuff. We get angry. You know, there's that disconnect between the public and them. So, you know, it is. And it's it just is. the way it works. Honestly, it's just the way we need a. The number one thing we need to do is fix our government system. I don't know how. I like that's one thing I. Like, I'm a problem solver, but that's one problem my brain just keeps fucking hitting the walls on. I think, I think we need to stop giving so much, uh, I was thinking care, maybe... care into, uh, Ibrahim keeps going back on to say materialism. Mm -hmm. Mater that is Material the one thing that I think that we have control over, that we can screw over the government and be like, hey, listen, we don't need this shit anymore, we need mm -hmm. this. You can make your money off this instead of that. And I have proof that that actually works now, yeah. too. boycotting. Because, like, no, not even that, screw boycotting. Uh, I was in this one course. We learned that in Germany, for example, when people bought stuff and they were given plastics, what they would do is they would bring in their reusable bags. They put their item in the reusable bags and just throw the plastics there at the store, like inside the store, mm -hmm. not in the garbage, in the store. So in someone line. else uses them. No, no, no. Just oh. in the store as oh. protesting, like, I don't want to use plastics. Oh. So now in Germany, what you have is a system in place where the government essentially forces all the corporations to have their own proper recycling for all plastics, and it all goes to one location. So that's, if you change your own behavior, I guess this goes back to what you were saying at the beginning. If you start something and people mm -hmm. catch on, it could cause exactly. some change. And, and going back to the materialism thing as well, tying it all together, if we really yeah, want gonna... to focus in on, like, you know, cutting down on our materialism, and like trying to like not to not be so addicted to like you know the next brand new whip or the next kicks or whatever mm -hmm. then slowly slowly i think we can actually you know tackle this oh, effectively fun, fun fact we're actually going uh, this is this this is more news that made me happy uh los angeles or i think los angeles is just bought their first they're going to be the first ever to have a fire electric truck. fire truck Wee we're going in the right direction man okay talking i just want to bring this but, back uh, talking yeah. about surveillance you know that Amazon store where you don't there's no cashiers or anything? Yo. But taking out the idea that they are monitoring what we're eating. 
what you pick yeah. up and what you yeah. do. Bro, you know how much... Like, do you know how that... That's, that's crazy. They just want to monitor everything. Like, because that's the only thing I Here's, about, here's the thing. Because when they monitor you, when they know you, they know what you like. They, they know can what they can sell you. Yeah, first of all, they can use it to take your money. Oh. This is what... This is a term that, like, I've I've been thinking about. Like, it's 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 a real thing. It's called modern day slavery. Yeah. We'll talk about that on another podcast in depth. But like, that's another. That's how I believe our system is. It's modern day slavery. But I don't know. We're gonna let's let's to wrap this podcast up. Let me give you guys just some some things you can do to reduce your own footprint. Let's wrap this all up. You know, everyone. Let's at least. And on a bit something. of a positive yeah. note, what you can do to make that quote unquote small little oh. difference and probably have a ripple effect. Okay, yeah. So the first thing, of course, when you think about like when you are ordering stuff or when you are buying, it's called, first of all, this mentality is called, uh, what is it called? Uh, conscious consumerism. Yeah, conscious consumerism. And it's just being conscious of like the products you buy, you know. Uh, making sure the company that you're at least purchasing from, you know, uh, is sustainable, is green, you know, choosing stuff like that. Also, you got to think about when you're ordering, like going back to ordering stuff, you got to think about transportation. It's not, oh, this product or whatever. You got to think about where it's coming from, how much fuel was burnt for it to get to you. Shout out news that's dope. <laughs> And for the vegans out there, just because you're eating green doesn't mean that you're being green too. People actually cut down many, many forests just to plant like you know. The soybeans. Uh, soybean, exactly. It, that's so, what like, that happened in Brazil. That's yeah. their whole like they burnt down the forest just so they can put more uh, farmland. So like just like don't don't give yourselves a pat on the back just yeah. yet. And also another thing is uh, f- flying. I know it's ca- it's necessary. And we were talking about before the podcast. We'll talk about it in uh, probably future podcast when we talk about this again. Just flying, and until there are electric planes, um, you just be conscious of it. So, like, for example, a Washington to San Francisco trip will melt will melt about four point eight meters squared of ice. Damn. So That's crazy. So, like, think about that, and like, you know, how to cut your uh, greenhouse gases. Packing is another thing. So, like, Amazon I think gives you sometimes an option if you order like a bunch of stuff or whatever. I think it gives you an option for less packaging. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing people should look out for. Um, eat and shop local is another thing. So when you do that, you're cutting out the, the transportation. You're cutting down all that greenhouse gases created in transportation. Um, and also, mostly local local stores are like... They're not like those big-ass companies where they have all this excess and they throw and they waste a lot. It's like they make to their need or whatever so yeah eat and shop local less packaging in the mail if you want to calculate your footprint there is a a nice source online it's called the nature conservancy conservancy there we go uh you could just look that up nature conservancy uh carbon footprint calculator and you know avoid this uh disposable goods like i was saying if use this tactic if you want if at takeout you know even Tell them, you know, keep the forks. You know, don't use my tip if you don't use the reusable yeah. forks. Just tell them, okay, I have utensils at home. Just keep that. And that's that's one thing you can do. And uh, diet. I know this is hard. We're I'm a meat eater. I would not give up eating meat. I would say yeah. that. And the thing is, I don't feel like it's. I don't, I I don't feel like it's bad. Now. I don't feel like eating meat is bad because it's not. The fact that you're eating meat—it's just the fact that the way it's produced. The way it's produced. Yes. yes. And yeah, we 100%. just gotta crack down on that, not the meat itself. But I'm saying that if there is an easier alternative and a more cost-efficient and uh, better for the economy and the environment and everything, that I see it going towards this vegan lifestyle, and it will like, obviously it's not as good and it's not mm. as accessible right now, but once it does, I don't think we'll be able to tell the difference. Honestly, you and think then, so, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, let's be honest. Like, we have. <coughs> have you tried the plant-based stuff at your at Tim's, at your place? Tim's? Yeah. Complete trash. It doesn't but, taste like meat. Uh, no, but the thing is, it's going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. we're, we're starting to normalize but it. But the thing slightly. is, thinking about it, how much greenhouses 
are being created producing those alternatives. You That's gotta think thing, about in the know. long run. In the long run, it's I think beneficial. Yeah, when you're starting anything off, it's gonna cost mm. a lot. It's gonna create a lot of. It's gonna create a lot of, like, waste and all that. But I think going into the future, it's gonna save us a mm. lot, a lot, a lot of money, time, mm-hmm. resources, and all that. Definitely, because billions and billions of cows are being slaughtered, mm. pigs, chickens, all this. Like this meat is like, it's almost priceless. Yeah. But to actually keep these things running and all mm-hmm. that is is costing something, you know? Mm, yeah. It's not just nothing. But, so yeah, another thing you can do to cut down your uh, greenhouse gases, or actually, this is uh, not to cut down your greenhouse gases, but this is on our other topic. It's to demand change. Uh, I think David Suzuki's website, I was scrolling through there quick when we were doing research, and I saw a section where it looked like, uh, like a section where you sign petitions or like, you know, demand something from the government, you know, something about that. Like, I think one was against the pipeline or something like that. So that is where you can take action if you want to do it to that extent. And finally, this is, I don't think this tip has been thrown out anywhere, but in your field, I'm only noticing it because, you know, in my architecture, uh, as I was learning, bro, buildings take up more than 47% of energy. That, that's the consumption. Yeah. So as... A future developer, a future architect, I am making a vow to like try to put in as much sustainable uh, strategies, as many sustainable uh, like greenhouse or what's it called? Um, just energy production, you know, like lower the carbon footprint of my projects and all these buildings. And what I would say is for those professionals, if your field allows for it, so engineers. Uh, I don't know what else. Environmental engineer. Oh, you're right in the field. You don't even need any tips. But, you know, think about how your field, how you can change your field to become more sustainable, how you can change uh, the aspects of your field to make our future more green. And that's how I'm going to log it off for today. If you are new, please check out our uh, Instagram at culture.overload. Um, stay tuned. For uh, future episodes, let us know what you'd like to hear. And uh, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. We're out. Save the planet, guys. Easy.